So I was 28 at the time and I grew up in the house without being allowed to have pat pets and um, I actually had to sneak a cat in my house that I helped raise for like I think a couple of months like a month and that was it so I didn't have a real pet until I was 27 I was working in magazines and um, I adopted him he lived his name was Bernard his Puerto Rican nickname was Dupi and um, he lived in Williamsburg he was a hipster cat very easygoing he lived off of some loading dock and um, I he was a wonderful cat I didn't he never he was like I think he knew he had a great he was on his eight in life or something <laughs> he's really chill he watched Buffy the Vampire with me while we were eating a mini Chinese food with my girlfriend and just a wonderful cat turned out he had a cat feline AIDS so FIV but that wasn't the one that really triggered him he actually had like a weird double diagnosis and um, it was that FIV and um, leukemia kitty leukemia but Bernard was a really happy cat. Bernie, Bernard, my mom. I, he was the first cat that my mom actually touched because she hated cats. <laughs> um, he lived around for a couple years and then I moved from where I lived to another spot. And it was living in the second spot that he got sick. So I think everything caught up with him eventually. And he, unfortunately, he passed away within a quick time that he had gotten sick. And um, I just remember I had to bury him, and um, he was an orange and white Tom. And so I got I buried him under a, a tree that bears orange berries and white blossoms. Like he was a really, he was like, I, the short time I had with him, he was like the best cat. And um, I remember coming home one night from somewhere, and I remember going into the kitchen. And I went to turn on, I turned on the light. And when I turned, I saw him in the sunroom where he used to eat and just hang out. And he was, he was just there for a second. And I saw him get up and disappear. And I was like, oh my God. I just, I'm getting emotional now about it because I just remember that instant. Um, that he was like, I'm okay. It was like a, a meow and he disappeared. And I knew that he was good. And he just wanted to say goodbye to me. And that was my cat story. Cat my got a cat ghost kitty ghost story. <laughs> Here we go. So you were talking about your monster, which is what's the name of your monster again? Her name is Ayana. Ayana, and she is a Yandere. Yandere. So where do you get the name Yandere from? Is she from a show or kind of, she's an anime or something like that? Yeah, an anime. An anime. Okay, very cool. Well, she's very pretty. Do Yandere's have to be pretty? Well, they don't have to. Uh huh. But the Yandere's have to be like really, like really out of control. Out of control. What show is she from? Well, she's not um, from a show unless it's fan made. Uh huh. But, but she is from a video game too. Oh, from a game too. Can I see her again? Let's take a look at her, a good look at her. Oh, very nice. So, if you ever met a, a Yandere, right, what would you say to them? I would say, please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill you? You, do, you ever think you could be a friend with the Yandere? Probably. Probably? You watch, do you watch a lot of anime? Yeah. It's your favorite thing in the world, huh? So, what's your name? My name is Andrew Centeno. Oh, and how old are you? Eleven. And you live in the Bronx? Okay, but which monster did you choose today? Um, I chose a Greek mythology monster. It's a Medusa and it's a Gorgon. A Gorgon, very cool. So what do you like about Medusa? Let's take a, look, a nice close look at her. Because I love her that she looks like she wears glasses. You can put it up a little bit like this. No, actually, those are not glasses. Those are eyes. Those are her eyes. So what happens if you look at, at Medusa? Uh, she turned to stone. You turn to stone. What happens if uh, you try to touch her? Mm, 
What does she have? Really? Well, what happens? What's what's going on with her hair? What's going on? What's that? Well, those are actually snakes. Snakes. So if you try to touch you with, touch Medusa's head, what would what do the snakes do? Uh, you're gonna get venom. And you're gonna die. You're gonna. Yeah, that's right. That's rough. So she can't hang out with nobody, huh? No. You think she's kind of lonely? Yeah. You think you'd ever be friends with someone like Medusa? Um, yeah, probably. If you, if you close your eyes. If you close your eyes. Well, what if you gave her a nice pair of shades? Yeah, that would. <laughs> would that work? Yeah, that would. Oh, very cool. What's your name? My name is Jonathan Bentonay. And I'm not going to say my middle name out loud. Okay. This is a secret. That, you know, your middle name has power. <laughs> So, how old are you? I'm eight years old. Very cool. And what monster did you choose today? I chose two monsters that I created. Yes. This is Giant Stick Man. Giant Stick Man. He's a stick man mm -hmm. that, came, that someone drew. He came to life and got buff. Okay. And he turned evil. Except okay. his legs. <laughs> this yeah. is his cousin, uh -huh. Speed Stick Man. Who is sim who's the same thing, except instead of getting strong, he got fast. Wow, okay. He sets on fire when he runs. What do the letters mean down there? This says sticks in a weird language. I like that a lot. And it's a dirt face. A dirt face? You see the dirt face. And what's he saying on top? That's a credit card. That's a credit card? <laughs> So he has a credit card, that's very cool. That was just a joke that I added. How did he get buff? Nobody knows. Nobody knows? He just happened like that? He didn't go to the gym or anything? So what is what is a stick man to you? Because you know there are monsters that are called stick man. Okay. A stick man to me mm -hmm. is something that a toddler draws. Right. Are they or scary? A simple, or a simple person. And no, they're not very scary. Oh. Huh. If you ever met these stick men, what would you say to them? I would say, they created you. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's your name? Leander Roman. Leander Roman. So, how old are you? About 12. 12 years old. That means you're going to be 13. It's a big year coming up, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. So, what monster did you choose today? I chose a, a Cyclops that flies. A Cyclops? That I like Cyclops. Flyclops. Flyclops, okay. Uh, what culture does that come from? Do you remember where, where Cyclops come from? It comes from Greek culture. Yeah, very good. Greek mythology. So can I see it? Right. Ah, very nice. And I love the little blue guy. Who's the little blue guy? Oh yeah, he's running away from it. <laughs> Flyclops. You can't tell me. I, I ain't fly. <laughs> That's a very good character. You always do very good characters. So, let me ask you a question. How big is he? Uh, Depending on the size, you could compare it, because that's why I added the little guy right here. Right. Just to compare it. How many feet you think he is? Ten. Ten nine. feet. Well, I think ten and nine is good. How 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 much do you think he weighs? Uh, twenty five point seven. Twenty five point seven what? Uh, that's in like. If pa you had in pounds. Twenty seven gallons of milk. Oh okay okay, he's pretty heavy. Yeah. So, if you had met a flight class, what would you say to him? I mean, like, he has different types of things. So, if you want to, like, be enemies with him, you got you tell him that he's not fly. Because, okay. yeah, because of the... <laughs> you ain't yeah. fly, man. And if, you're, if you want to be friends with him, mm -hmm. you got to go to the Adidas store and buy his home.
So was made by a scientist that made him bad and a bad guy made him good. So every time he gets mad, his hands turn into weapons and save people and he can fight like Batman and Superman. Huh? My monster work were created by a soul of kidnapped children and they come back to Kill the kidnappers who killed them. My monster used to be a person who had disabilities. He was forced to join the freak show by policemen and he knocked the policemen out. Now every day he, at night, he uses his giant hands to squish people who made fun of the freak show in the morning. Oh. Mm -hmm. My monster is a demon teenager who um, who likes laughter, and she comes whenever she hears someone joking around, if it's funny or if it's boring, and she says, that's a funny joke, and she gets carried away, and then she sucks them in her mouth. Oh. My monster is a librarian who got overwhelmed and I have a heart attack in the library. The spirit went to other librarians and used the books as weapons to to hunt down people, to hunt our kids and students and disrespect the library and their books. Think about it.